Welcome to the DSP product overview. We will focus on two brands, BSS and DBX. They both offer many different types of processors for professional audio applications. In this module, we will explore some of the most popular offerings from them both, including the controllers end users can utilize for various functions throughout the processors. Whether you need just a small handful of fixed analog inputs and outputs or a hardware configurable device with customizable card slots, networked audio, and an impressive amount of DSP, BSS offers a truly expandable open architecture solution to accomplish the audio task at hand. BSS has a number of hardware configurable signal processors and I.O. expanders that can be outfitted with six different cards. They consist of analog input and output cards, digital input and output cards supporting both AES, EBU, and SPDIF, an acoustic echo cancellation card, and a telephone hybrid card. Simple, flexible, and cost-effective networked audio solutions using transports such as Harman's proprietary BlueLink Audio are available on nearly each BSS device. Select devices are available with Dante Audio, AVB, or CobraNet, allowing you to create unique solutions. In addition to the configurable options, BSS offers a line of powerful fixed I.O. digital signal processors with a variety of input and output configurations. The Blue 50 features four inputs and four outputs with 48 channels of Blue Link audio, while the Blue 100 expands the analog I.O. to 12 inputs and eight outputs. The Blue 101, 102, and 103 add AEC signal processing, while the 102 supports an analog telephone line and the 103 supports voice over IP. Each of the processors we've highlighted are configurable through HiQnet Audio Architect. In some applications, you may need additional analog inputs or outputs in your design without adding more DSP. BSS allows you to do just that with their line of break-in and break-out boxes. Almost every device features 12 general purpose inputs and 6 general purpose outputs that can easily be integrated into many different types of control systems. If your control system requires more GPIO and you do not want to add analog inputs and outputs or any additional DSP, the Blue GPX will add 36 general purpose inputs and 23 general purpose outputs. For those needing to integrate USB audio into their BSS audio system, BSS offers the Compact Blue USB. When it comes to end user control, BSS London Hardware has a large list of supported controllers including portable devices and third-party control systems. Ideal for commercial applications such as retail, health clubs, and restaurants, DBX offers eight different fixed architecture digital signal processors. Among their DSP functions are input processing, a central matrix, and output processing. The 640 and 641 and their respective M models are made up of six inputs and four outputs. The 640 and 641's inputs are comprised of two balanced mic line inputs and four stereo pairs of RCA connections, while the M series replaces two of the stereo pairs, each with another balanced mic line input. The 1260 and 1261's inputs are made up of two balanced mic line inputs, eight stereo pairs of RCA connections, and a two channel SPDIF connection. Their M models replaces four of the RCA connections, each with a balanced mic line input. Each unit is configured through an easy-to-use setup wizard via Zone Pro Designer. While both BSS and DBX solutions allow you to set it and forget it, end users may need some form of control to perform actions such as volume adjustment, source selection, and preset recall. The DBX Zone Pro is with its own line of zone controllers as well as third-party control such as AMX. DBX has built for itself a legacy of loudspeaker management tools through its impressive line of drive rack processors. Ideal for any kind of performance venue from those using a small portable system, a house of worship, or world tours, DBX has provided some of the most popular loudspeaker management systems in the world. Designed to go between your mixing console and amplifier or powered speakers, each drive rack is packed with a host of features providing you with the means to properly tune your PA system. As we can see on the rear panel, the Venue 360 provides us with a 3-in, 6-output configuration, or when utilizing the AES inputs, 5-in and 6-output configuration, allowing you to set up the loudspeaker configuration in a number of different ways, whether it's for a simple 3-way crossover or something a bit more complex, such as a stereo 2-way crossover, mono side fills, and a single monitor channel.
The Venue 360 includes a wide array of input processing as we see on the left and output processing as we can see on the right. For those familiar with the drive rack line, they will know it for its advanced feedback suppression and auto EQ, both of which have been approved upon in the Venue 360. Utilizing the new AFS2 algorithm, the Venue 360 listens for and anticipates feedback loops, automatically notching out the problematic frequency using an ultra-narrow fixed filter. The new auto EQ algorithm utilizes sign sweeps as opposed to the older algorithm using pink noise, and this has now been moved to the output section. This means independent sections of the system can be auto EQ'd independently, allowing you to apply EQ curves specific to front of house as well as the side fills. Blue Link and Dante versions are also available, furthering the capabilities of the Venue 360 and making it even easier to integrate in today's network. This concludes our look at the signal processing options for BSS and DBX.